about yourself and don't worry about nobody Drinking water, eating fruit, taking care of my body Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Arielle, and this is my beginner-friendly how to make a lace closure wig. So I made a wig once before with a spandex cap because that was all I had at the time and I didn't like it, so I took all the hair off and went with my usual mesh cap. Mesh caps are my favorite. They fit my head better and they're much easier to sew through. I'll link the info to this hair so you can check it out. I'm taking the closure and panning it down with pins from the craft store. T-pins are better, but these were all I had at the time too, so be careful with these if you use them. They do hurt your fingers after a while, but the T-pins do not. I'm using a little water to lay down the hair to make sure the closure is nice and smooth and flat as possible. I like to braid and clip the hair to get it out the way. Then I'm gonna add more pins to the front since my lace is missing because I already wore the previous wig and had to cut it off. This will just make sure the closure doesn't move or shift while I'm sewing it down. And this is how the closure looked before I cut the lace off just in case you don't understand what I'm talking about. I'm using a curved needle and some thread, any type of thread will do. I'm gonna go through the thread with the, I'm gonna go through the hole with the thread and I'm gonna go about an arm's length and then cut it. To make my knots, I just lick my thumb and my pointer finger, wrap both ends of the thread around my finger and pull it down into a knot. It really doesn't matter how you make a knot, you just need a knot. Now I'm gonna go through the edge of the lace with my needle, picking up a little mesh before I pull it through. I'm going to open up the thread like this and then just pull it through. This just ensures that it's nice and secure. I'm not sewing through the band, I'm sewing the mesh. I'll show you exactly what that means a little later. Then you can just repeat the edge of the lace closure, pick up some mesh, and make a knot. I'll also show in detail how I make the knots a little later too. Continue sewing the edge of the closure while picking up a little mesh all the way around. To make knots, I wrap my thread around the needle three times. I do that here and there as I feel I need it. You want to make close stitches when sewing down your closure because you'll cut the cap under it when you're done and you don't want it to be flappy and gappy. Then you just finish off the closure exactly how you started it. Cut the thread, make you another knot or two, and cut the extra off. Now I'm starting my first bundle, which is also my longest bundle. A little above the end of the cap, I'm taking about seven to eight inches and pinning it down. Since I'm using four bundles, I'll be sewing the tracks pretty close. I am double wefting and I'll lay the tracks in a smiley face motion, going to the end and then flipping it over until I'm done with the full bundle. When sewing near the thick elastic band, you want to sew only through the mesh of the band like this, right on top not through the elastic band like this. The wig will not fit because the cap will be too tight and you'll have to start all over the whole process. So I'm gonna go through both of the wefts and also a weft is a track. So yeah, I'm gonna go through, pick up some of that mesh on top of the band, not through. And this was my second stitch. The first one, the camera cut off, but I started it exactly how I started the closure, the first stitch of the closure. I pull it through, loop it, pull it again to knot it. I only sew through the track when I start or finish a track. Any other time, I sew under like this. Sometimes I'll pull the thread straight through without knotting it, and sometimes I'll wrap it three times around the needle. It just depends how I feel. My stitches are about half an inch to an inch apart, depending on how lazy I'm being. But the less you knot it, um, the closer you should stitch it so it won't be loose. As I get closer to the end before I flip it, I make my stitches closer just so that when I do flip it, it's nice and um, secure and it'll be nice and I don't sew all the way to the edge of the band because sometimes I like to have space to sew down my wig and I'll show you how to hide the extra cap at the end. Um, but now I'm going to pull my cap forward to make sure it isn't bunched up and that she'll fit perfectly when she's done. 
I went on to sew down the second row. Now I'm on the third and it's time to flip it. So we get it positioned and pinned in place. Then I'm taking the needle straight up between the four tracks because remember it's double wefted. Not through, just between, loop and pull. You want to be sure to always stitch close and not before and after you flip the track. This is the biggest factor in whether or not your wig will lay flat, so you want to do it right. When you run out of thread, you just go ahead and cut it. Tie you a knot once or twice and cut it again. Thread you a new needle and start over. Now I'm showing one more time how to get that flat flip track straight up three times around the needle. Pull tight. Next stitch should be very close, and we're gonna do the same thing. Then you can start sewing how you like in the middle. When it's time to flip again, you just want to be sure to cover the track underneath. So you want to lay it like this. This is two bundles still sewn in the smiley face pattern, flipping tracks back and forth. Then I'll continue with the third bundle. To end the bundle, since it's double wefted, you want to go between the two tracks and then sew it down. If it was single wefted, you would stick the needle through the weft and just sew it down like that. But since it's double, you have to go between. and look how secure that is. So this is exactly what I mean when I say double wefted, just one weft folded in half, and this is single wefted. Also, a weft and a track, same thing. For the last bundle, I will be single wefting so it can be super flat. Here I was taking a mental note of how much space I have so I can be aware of how to continue laying my tracks. Since I made the last wig, my fourth bundle, which is my shortest bundle, was already cut so I have to work with the pieces I have but if you have new uncut bundles just continue going from one end to
and that is how to make a lace closure wig i hope this is helpful i tried to go over the things i felt i struggled with the most when i was learning how to make wigs which was how to flip over a track successfully um i even struggled with how to not so i'm not trying to like be funny when i'm explaining these things i'm just trying to be helpful because the things i didn't know this is my first ever wig tutorial and hopefully my next one will go a little smoother i have better angles and light it for you guys but yeah this was a really long video the end of this is just me showing how i finished customizing the wig i wanted to include that but it was just way too long so it'll be one of my next videos will be that but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope this was helpful if it was let me know in the comment section below make sure you leave me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video Oh!